Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bash, as usual. Subscriber Showcase, week two. Let's get in it. Playing a little bit of TDM this time on Array. Um, with this Galil right here, Galil, gun that I am garbage with. But we'll get into that in a second. Gameplay you're watching right now is by X Pups. Um, it's on Xbox 360. Um, and he goes to work. Like, he does a lot of damage in this game. Now, it is a three on three right now. Some people do end up joining um, partway through the game. Unlucky for them. But, um, I mean, this is a pretty small game. But, but the, the gameplay is entertaining. And um, the last game, uh, the last player we played, last player we watched, sorry, was a domination. So I got something a little different at TDM this time. But uh, something you guys are probably all familiar with. As he fails this kill right here. That's the Modern Warfare 2 in us right there. See what I'm saying? We're used to killing people in like a couple of hits. But no, no, no. This is Black Ops. No, no quick kills. Gotta, you know, gotta lay the bullets in. Um, <laughs> no stopping power. But, um, you know what I mean? I, I tried to get a gameplay that was a bit different. Um, now, the last player we, we watched, he was really objective-based. He was running to the objective no matter what. He was high action. Like, he was putting his neck on the line. He didn't care if he died. He didn't care if he lived. All he cared about was capturing, capturing flags. And, and that's, that's the key. That's a good thing in domination. Now, right here, you know, complete 360. Because this is TDM. The objective here is to get kills. So you're going to see much safer gameplay, much more tactful gameplay, uh, much more thought out gameplay. And, um, you know, it's not it's not camping, not at all camping, but it's definitely good gameplay. He's playing TDM the way TDM should be played, and um, he's doing a damn good job of it. And you guys will see that in his score at the end, which is, which is monstrous. But, um, I mean... The reason why I wanted to bring this gameplay to you guys was for a couple of reasons. One, I had fun. Enjoy I enjoyed watching the game. And a lot of that might be due to the fact that I'm shit with the Galil. I'm garbage with the Galil. So for me, it was interesting to see someone who's really dominating with the Galil. Take a look at how he's really approaching the game and uh, and playing the game. and How he's using the Galil um, differently from how I may be using it. Um, I did pick up a couple of things which is probably going to help me in the future, which is cool. And that's really one of the, the hidden benefits to myself in doing this. Um, a lot of you guys out there are good players. Um, I get a lot of compliments all the time. People say that they think I'm a really good player. They think I'm great. They think I'm amazing. Da, da, da. And I know a lot of it is exaggeration because honestly, I'm not the greatest player in the world. There are tons of players who are better than me. Tons of you guys who are better than me. So... Um, I, I feel like it's an honor to be able to, to have the ability to, to, to reach out to you guys and get the chance to watch all your gameplays. I saw tons of gameplays today, um, both on the Xbox and on the PS3, because because I did pick, fix my PS3. I'll talk about that in a second. And um, there was there was a bunch of different guns. It's cool. Like It's just cool to be able to see so many different guns that I wouldn't usually think about using. The, I mean, the Scorpion I've been playing with a little bit, actually. Lately. I, I think it's a garbage gun. I have fun playing with it, but um, being able to watch, like I saw some good Scorpion gameplay today, which was really cool. Um, I've seen like uh, just just different guns that I'm not used to seeing. I was able to see and observe, which is which is really cool, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, also, being able to see so many different game types, because I'm usually the type of dude who's gonna stick to domination, um, TDM, maybe play a little bit of you know capture the flag and demolition, but but that's really like that's really like it for me. I mean. I don't do too much else. And it's cool to be able to watch some, you know, Search and Destroys, some classic TDMs, which are cool, which I'm probably going to start playing more of those. Um, there's different game types that I'm not used to, hardcore game types. So it's definitely cool. And I'm going to try to get, like, one of every game type on this channel. It's definitely what I'm going to try to do. But um, as you can see, he's going to work with that with that gunship. And uh, he's really approaching this game really slow-paced. I noticed that one thing that I do that I know, I already know is, is my downfall, is I'm running around way too much. Um, and oftentimes, like, as, as much as you think running around and staying active is the right way to play, you know, the noble way, quote-unquote, the cool way, um, it gets you in a lot of trouble. Like, in all realness, in all actuality, the best way, and I would be shit of the best way to play this game and approach this game, especially a game like Team Deathmatch, um, is slowly. It's to take it slow. Be careful. Um, you know, be aware of your surroundings take it easy don't rush into anything you know what i mean that's one problem look at him he's he's playing really careful and unfortunately he takes a death here that player probably got lucky i mean he 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 must have he maybe he's a good shot whatever the case may be he caught him off guard but 
in all like he's really like like Woody would say like Woody's gamer tag would say he's controlling the engagement in most situations and that's really how you want to approach this game and, and that's how you're gonna get those B scores that's how people get six KD that's how people get three four KD they take the game slow they're patient and they approach it in that way they don't rush into anything and that's really one thing you guys want to be uh, be careful for and that's what you want to look out for that's kind of how you want to approach the game um, so let let me just answer a couple of questions that you guys had in the last subscriber showcase. Um, so you guys were at some people were asking like how good does a game have to be? Uh, what type of games are you looking for? Can we commentate over them? There's a bunch of different questions. I'm gonna try and answer some of those right now um, because obviously in the first one I wasn't sure of what kind of questions you guys would guys would be asking, but now that I have an idea of what you guys are kind of wondering, what's lingering in your minds. I can uh, I can answer those questions for you. So first off, gameplay like score is not what's gonna what's gonna matter to me. It's not like you, you don't have to have a B score in order for me to get you to get onto this here um, to this here series. Like you don't have to have an amazing gameplay to be on subscriber showcase. I mean you have to have an amazing gameplay, but you don't have to have an amazing score. This is an amazing score, but in order to really have an amazing team deathmatch, you kind of have to have an amazing score. Those go hand in hand, but. Um, like your KD doesn't matter. You could have a 50 and 50 game, but if it was high paced, high action, and it was a demolition, and you were all over that objective, and it came down to the wire, like that's the type of stuff I want to see. Stuff that's exciting. Um, also, things that we can pick up. Um, things that everyone can pick stuff up up from. You know what I mean? Like things I can share with people, and they'll learn something from. Like that's the type of stuff that I really want to share with people. So um, that's really what I'm looking for. You don't have to be like a 100 KD player like it's unnecessary all you got to do is just get out there play the game enjoy it have fun and um, Just just keep keep saving your good gameplays or the gameplays you think are good and had fun with uh, To your to your to your file share so um, I did get on the ps3 you can you can play um, On the ps3 or the Xbox. I don't know how I'm gonna do it for the computer yet for the PC I might have to figure something out though because I do want to include everybody I'm not trying to leave everyone out, but I'm just trying to do things the best way that I can. So, um, but yeah, I have my PS3. I finally fixed it. Unfortunately, I just I, I decided to go with this gameplay, but I'm probably gonna try to go with the PS3 gameplay uh, next week. There were a lot of really good PS3 gameplays, but I, I find the majority of my the gameplays that I got were from the Xbox. I think people aren't really aware that I have a PS3. I do have a PS3. I started playing this game. I started commentating on the PS3. So by all means, share your PS3 moments with me, guys. Um, I want those. Um, and also, a lot, another question I was getting was, do they have to be full gameplays? Yeah, I'm looking for full gameplays. I want to share, you know, like the regular commentary I would do on my own channel. So so that's really what I'm looking for, guys. But, um, man, this gameplay is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. He, he, he has a different approach to the game, but it's an effective one. He went 48-1 with a 48 kill-death ratio. So I don't know how that dude went 0-25 and, and how he stayed in the game so long, but... Hey man, that's him. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, keep record. I mean, keep saving your games to your file share, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.